Good morning, and welcome to a very early start, Winnipeg. Yeah, 5.06, that's, that's the morning, that's not the afternoon. Okay, woke up early again this morning. <laughs> now, we are going to have a really long rollback. As you can see, I did the painting. I did it yesterday afternoon and evening. And uh, I'm not going to talk about it well, because the rollback will cover it. But the rollback, like I say, is quite long. And what I'm going to do is periodically through the rollback, I'll put where you can scrub ahead to to get to the end of it. Because, you know, I'm, I know there's only so much airbrushing a person can handle, right? <laughs> Okay, it, it actually went fairly well, as you're going to see. Now, before I forget, for the last two days, I've had the uh, bird feeder displayed right there. And what I did was I left the, the camera aimed on the bird feeder all day long, and I sent my, set my motion sensor so that if a bird was to land on the bird feeder, it would activate it. And I checked the day before yesterday, and I checked yesterday's, and not one single bird landed on the bird feeder. Not one. Uh, oh, there was lots of false alarms, like maybe uh, a little fluffy would go flo floating through the air and it would trigger it, you know, that kind of stuff. It's fairly sensitive. And if a bird was to have landed on the, on the feeder, I'd have seen it, and there wasn't. So that bird that I saw three or four days ago that went from the bird birdhouse perch onto the bird feeder, and it made me feel bad, and I went running out there and filled up the bird feeder. Uh, <laughs> it was probably the only bird this month, <laughs> or last month. Anyway, yeah, I guess, uh, oh, and there's no, no new rabbit tracks yet. No, haven't seen any. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe uh, uh, some sort of ra a rabid COVID went through and wiped out our rabbits. I don't know. Or maybe the foxes and coyotes that have been running around here have got them. I, I, I couldn't tell you. Well, we'll know in the spring because we always saw rabbits in the spring before. Okay, I think uh, what we should do is get into the rollback. Uh, this episode uh, is going to be fairly long, I guess. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's just roll back and see how it is we got to this place. Okay, continuing right along here this afternoon. Now, I want to have this done in about half an hour because at 5 o'clock I'll be posting today's episode, which isn't even up yet, onto uh, Jim Steen's uh, Facebook group site. Okay, so we're going to use the medium size reservoir here. As I have said, it's pretty much as easy to pour back a large amount as a small amount. Now this should be ready to go. I've got it adjusted for uh, about 15 pounds or maybe a little less, 12 pounds maybe. <clears throat> I've got some uh, soapy water over here for cleaning, and I'm going to put uh, uh, th this is this is Windex. I'm going to put Windex in this one. My uh, cleanup is going to be a little bit different than usual because I don't have my compressed air here to blow things out. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, now maybe I better get a different pair of glasses on here. These ones, these ones here. I know they're smaller, but they're actually stronger. I think they're about a three diopter or something. <clears throat> and I can I can get in nice and close. Okay, let's uh, let's. Uh, oh, don't worry, that was just a, a roll of. Uh, I was going to say toilet paper, but it's not. <laughs> a, a roll of. Uh, I'll think of it. It'll come to me. Uh, 
Okay, check the monitor. Yeah, that should work. Okay, let's get our... Oh, I should have maybe adjusted the airbrush first. And I know you're going to want to see that, so... We'll just... Uh, I don't want to spill anything here. Yeah, give myself a little bit, a little bit more slack. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be just fine. Okay, let's zoom back in and get our air filter thing going and. Really gently here. You know, my little compressor hasn't kicked in yet. I wonder how come. It is, it is turned on. Okay, I guess it soon will. better check. That should have cut in by now, I would have thought. Maybe I don't have it plugged in. It might be turned on, but not plugged in. Okay, here's what happened. When I, when I sat down at the model table here, I turned it off, thinking I was turning it on. Okay, I'm just going to uh, recompose here now. so that I can uh, use the uh, turntable here. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can very gently do this one right here. Maybe I'll, I'll put the micro lens on, like I said. Okay, now for those of you who have a problem with that vertical thing, close your eyes. that's going to be fairly, yeah, it should be good. Okay, 
F-17. Okay, we are all cleaned up with our airbrush and uh, I was going to get started here and then I realized I didn't cover up the these labels that I put down here. Let's soon get painted over. Oops, I've knocked over one of my little guys. Okay. I don't know why I'm wearing these gloves. This one here has got a tiny little hole starting in it right there. Okay, next time we'll get new gloves. Okay, I think that'll stay now. Maybe I should use a rotator for that one. Even though I won't, I won't power it up, but it'll be handy for just turning it quarter turns. Um, now, the the plan is that I'm not going to be zooming in and and stuff like that uh, because I want to be able to concentrate on what I'm doing here. Uh, what I what I will probably do though is I'll have probably already done this. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen where you can, you know, scrub ahead to get to the end of all of this because it's going to be quite long. And not everybody wants to watch this. Okay, I don't think those are going to blow over. Now this paint, at least we should see. It's it's a brand new jar. It's it's thinned out. I'm guessing 60/40, uh, like 40% thinner. And I, I did shake it a little while ago. We're probably going to use quite a bit of it. A lot of it will be wasted because it's going to blow right past what we're what we're spraying on. Okay. Yeah, you can see how much thinner I added there. So, it, it's quite a bit. I could tell by the way the, the paint poured, it was fairly thin. And we're set at about 15 pounds again. Well, we'll do this one first, being as it's, it's there. And uh, maybe I can zoom in a little bit here. I'll, I'll just uh, recompose a bit here. Okay, that should be nice and sharp even though you're not real close up. And we'll get our fan going. No use wasting it. Okay, here we go.
Okay, these ones here are going to be a little bit harder. I'll try and hold it so you can see it. Uh, well, we'll do the sides first. sort of puffing like that. Hmm. just in case we're getting a little bit built up on the tip. Okay. Now our crane with battle damage. Most of what we're going to be spraying here is just going to go right through and out the other side, but... there now. Well, I guess I'm going to have to touch that up by hand. Um, actually, that's that's the part that's going to be in against the hull. So if it's... Yeah. Yeah, this is the, the way I've got it clamped on there.
are a lot faster than using a paintbrush. Look now that it's starting to dry. I'm not seeing any bare plastic looking out at me. All right, let's get this thing moved away so before I bend something here. Okay, I think I'm going to come in this way, then this way, you know, I think we should be able to get all the, all the uh, quarters. And I'm going to want to come at a bit of an angle here. Yeah, we're empty. I guess the way I got you zoomed in, you're not, not able to catch all the action, but... Uh with this paint thinned out the way it is. Uh, Carly folks look. Alright, is there anything else now? What else have we got to paint? Uh, have I missed anything or have I got it all? So let me push stop here for a minute and I have to look around. Okay, 13 minutes after 7. We're all done. We're all cleaned up. Airbrush is cleaned up. Uh, ready to go for the next time and this is what I think the seventh time now we've used this uh, Timber Tech airbrush and uh, no complaints yet well ask me on uh, episode 2000 <laughs> oh that uh, roll that uh, dropped on the floor and rolled off on me uh, earlier and I couldn't remember what it was and I called it was gonna call it toilet paper well it's called Masking tape. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Gotta have a little bit of fun. You know, 
uh, earlier today, like around three o'clock, when I was trying to get the final final edit done and get this all last this last episode uploaded onto YouTube, and I was so tired that I was falling asleep while I was editing. I mean, I often fall asleep when I'm previewing, and you know that when it's after it's all edited, and I'm just sort of watching it to see if there's anything really out of place. And uh, but I was falling asleep when I was editing. Oh my goodness! I don't know what was happening. You know, I was awake at four o'clock this morning. Uh, that, maybe that's part of the problem. And uh, anyway, but now I'm feeling all gung ho. I mean, I could paint more. <laughs> Okay, I think that's going to be it for this evening. Uh, so, all been well. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is morning. And I might have a bit of a problem here. I made a mistake of putting this photo etch down on the really sticky double-sided tape. And I should have used uh, just ordinary masking tape upturned. And uh, now in order to pry these off, I, actually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen one of Gabe's uh, uh, swabs, uh, one of the sticks. Like, uh, where are they here? You know, I've, I've saved them all so I, I can do that. I'll just take one and cut it at a very acute angle and and then I'll be able to use that to get underneath here because this this blade would probably scratch it and we're going to try and get this off without it bending the photo etch and then there is the other problem I'm going to possibly have glue or, or rather a tape gunk plugging up the detail I don't know I'll know once I get it off now I've got that same tape uh, right here but I'm not too worried about about these because, you know, the, these will come off quite quite easily. Um, all right. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's recompose here and and see if we can get this off. Uh, I may have to take it off, do the Windex thing, and get all the paint off it and respray this. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to do that because that'll set me back at least an hour. Um, okay, let's. Uh, Take one of these sticks here. Uh, we'll take a pink one. Yeah, it's kind of kind of pretty, isn't it? Now, where's my cutters? Okay. Now, if I if I cut this at a at a real sharp angle here, okay, like that. Yeah, I, I do believe we have. Uh, okay, let, let's. Uh, Let's recompose here. Actually, let's 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 do this. Okay. Now you just know that I'm going to pause right here and slip on my macro lens, don't you? Okay, continuing right along here. Let's try and get this underneath very slowly and very carefully. Oh, it looks like it's going to come. Yeah, it looks like it's going to come. There's uh, some tape gum stuck on the bottom of it, but this is going to be the bottom, so... Okay, got that one loose. I've learned from experience, when you're doing something like this, go a lot slower than you actually need to because there's a good chance if you go fast you're going to bend something or scrape something. You know, I think we're going to get away with this. Yes, we did. All right. Now, I do believe that these two pieces, don't poke at them, are going to be the uh, first two pieces in uh, step, uh, what is it? I forgot. 
Well, we'll soon know. Okay, as long as we got our macro lens on. What's that on the end of my blade? Okay, uh, let's take a look at our ladder here. And uh, I was talking about using the panel line accent color, but I was thinking about it afterwards, being as that I have not clear coated this paint. Now don't go touching it and scratching it. Um, but because I have not clear coated this paint, the panel line accent color will wick its way out and darken the, this whole thing. So I'm thinking that, yes, it will make the definition of the ladder stand out but it might do more harm than good. And being as this ladder is positioned in a place where I don't think it's going to be seen all that easily, I'm not going to even bother. So uh, um, it was a good idea at the time. And, and it might actually be a good idea if I take the time to, you know, clear coat and stuff like that. But there's just only so much I'm willing to do on this build. I want to make it look good. But, you know, I'm not going to get myself all tied in a knot over every little, you might say, rivet. Now, we have a lot of little parts here that are ready to go. They are all painted. Now, mind you, our our anchors here. I do have to paint this part here that, you know, where the clip hung onto it. I'll just put it over there where the uh, clevises are. I guess I should drop them gently, right? But as, you know, as well as what you see right here, we've also got a whole bunch of guns made up. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's get our uh, bow dragged over here in front of the camera. And uh, see if we can put these down. Uh, I'll paint the anchor, uh, anchor chain, uh, anchor chain, the anchors off camera. And get that done. You don't need to watch me doing that. But there's some really tiny little pieces here. I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, peg part of these little pieces is going to fit in the holes, or, or there is holes there. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is. I haven't looked yet. A lot, a lot of what I do is uh, you, you see it along with me for the first time. So uh, when I'm surprised at something, I am genuinely surprised. Okay, let's uh, recompose here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's all of these too. Okay, I think we've got ourselves recomposed here. And let's see if we can get these on. I'm pretty sure you already know where they're supposed to go. I'm going to use uh, my rubber tweezers here so there's less chance of me accidentally scraping the paint off. You know, I think I, I think I already did scrape the paint off a little bit. Yes, I did. Maybe I'll just get it right to the edge here. And it'll be a lot easier to pick them up with the metal tweezers, but... Okay, now let's get this out of the way. And it has to go down right on here. Like so. Okay. I suppose I should really be putting the macro lens on right about now, shouldn't I? And i got to think of how am I going to adhere them there. I I, uh, I I do believe that that's the way it's, they're supposed to go. I don't think they're supposed to, or are they supposed to go on top of this? Let's just check the manual here. It could be that this whole thing is supposed to go on, on top of here. 
That, that might make kind of sense. Okay. Yes, if I if I if I follow the the arrows right down from the, you might say from the the front of that thing, it comes to the okay. I'm putting them in the wrong place. Let's recompose here. Okay, you can see on this one corner that I'm almost touching right now, it's got uh, paint scraped off of it. Okay, now the other one. I think I had said something about putting the macro lens on, didn't I? Oh, I didn't want to drop it there. Now how do I pick it up without scratching that flat number 77 or whatever it is? And I don't want it to fall down the hole either. That, that would be a disaster. I don't think it would fit. Okay, they're almost in the right place. I'll get myself more over overhead on it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that one's in the right place. Now, um, I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is, um, I don't need to, a person has a tendency to want to use something like, uh, well, may maybe the, uh, the extra thin quick setting CA but I don't want it to go wicking out into the into the deck. And, and this this is a little piece of photo etch that I can see glinting. Maybe you can't see it glinting. It depends on the way the light is. Let me look on the monitor. What are you seeing? Oh yeah, you can sort of see it there. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to put the macro lens on, but maybe for for gluing it down, I will. Um, I just got to think about what I want to do here. Now you should remember that earlier in today's episode I had indicated that there was something encouraging happened. Well, yeah, there was. About two hours after I had made my comment about not seeing any rabbits, I saw movement in my monitor and uh, looked up and there was a rabbit. First one I've seen in quite a while. And, uh, well, I'll tell you, you don't know how hard it was for me to not go to the fridge, open it up, take out a carrot, and throw it out to the rabbit. <laughs> In all likelihood, it would have scared the rabbit away. But anyway, the thought would have been there. But you know what? I gotta do my part. I gotta be a good citizen. <laughs>just finished editing out everything you have seen up until right now and you might say that uh, today's episode has sort of got away on me um, I'm gonna call it quits here for today and thanks for watching everybody and all being well we'll be seeing you tomorrow